Oh, the mercy. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready for a time that we call Psalm and the Great Awakening? Amen. And uh, this is Reverend Dr. Joshua Yoon together with a wonderful team here <laughs> with all the prayer warriors. Yes. And, uh, hallelujah. And, uh, Glory be to God. You will get to know each of them very soon, okay? Each of them very soon. Now, the reason why we have Psalm and the Great Awakening, and you see that we are praying that God is going to bring a great revival here in California, yes. the United States, and all of the nation of the world. Yes. Do you believe that? Yes. So let us every day as we come together and today we continue with Psalm 119 and uh, we are talking about from 137 to 144 and we are in the series of 100 days of breakthrough. So let us pray together that Today we are on the day 18, on the 18th day of 100 days of breakthrough. So let us believe that God is going to bless us abundantly in Psalm 119 from verse 137 to 144. And I have been sharing with you many times about the many principles of breakthrough. So what is the principle of breakthrough for tonight? on this 18th day or the 18th principle. So let us open together in the Word of God in Psalm 119 from verse 137 to 144. The Bible said, You are righteous, Lord. Hallelujah. God is righteous. He is holy. And He is fair to every one of us. And your laws are right. God's laws will never be fake. God's law will never be changed. And God's law will never be affected by any ways of we are thinking. Hallelujah. Amen. The statutes you have laid out are righteousness and they are fully trustworthy. And this is also the topic that I would like to share with you today. <coughs> that the statutes of the Lord have laid out are righteous and they are fully trustworthy. And my years, my youth wear me out, for my enemies ignore your word. Your promises have been thoroughly tested, and your servant loves them. Though I am lowly and despised, I do not forget your precept. Your righteousness is everlasting, and your law is true. Trouble and distress have come upon me, but your commands give me delight. Your statutes are always righteous. Give me understand that I may live. So, what is important of the statutes or the precept of the Lord or the law of the uh, or the law or the word of God today? A statute, meaning to say, a written law passes by a legislative body, or it is a rule of an organization or an institution. So when we said about the statute, it is the law of God. And what is important about the law of God in comparing to the written law passes by a legislative body? The written law of human can be changed. Okay? Today, it seems it's very good, but the next day, so next year, it can be changed. But God's word and God's law will never change it. Hallelujah. And that is why, what is the reason why that men laws have to change, men precept have to change in order to accommodate to the changing world of the situation. But God's word said that His word are trustworthy. Amen. The statute of the Lord are trustworthy. Why it is trustworthy? It means to be able to rely on because it is honest and it is very truthful. So in other words, the statute of the Lord is trustworthy because it is true, because it is divine, because it is sanctified, because it is effective, because it is moral, because it is holy, because it is unchangeable, yes. because it is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. So I want you to know something very important about the statute of the Lord tonight. <coughs> and as you and I know about the statute of the Lord, let me read for you some of the scripture. The Bible said, and these are the law or the statute of the Lord. The Bible said, on scripture is spread out by God and it is profitable. profitable. So in other words, the precept of the Lord is profitable for you Hallelujah. because it is Hallelujah. going to teach yeah. you, it is going to reprove you, it is going to correct you, it is going to train you to become righteous people. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why the precept of human can maybe be changed, but we cannot change our life. Yeah. The reason why that we have many laws in this world because we have to regulate the behavior of the people. And yet, 
that law may not change the nature of the people, but God's word can change the nature of people, about the attitude of the people, the thinking of other people. So that's why God's precepts or statutes are so trustworthy. And I want to invite you tonight that you and I begin to trust in the word of the Lord and begin to trust in the unchanging world and unchanging power of God for your life. And knowing this, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20 says, Knowing this, first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture comes from someone's own interpretation. Man's law may come from human interpretation, but God's law is not coming from our or my or your interpretation. It's come from God's destination. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for our life. Yes. And when God has ordained it, it is going to, John chapter 17, 17 said, it is going to sanctify you in the truth. Hallelujah. Because His Word is true. And I can read with you many scriptures talking about the importance of the statutes of the Lord. But the most important thing is that when you and I, when the Spirit of the Lord comes to guide you, you need to open your heart. Hallelujah. And then you begin to accept the Word of the Lord. And let me read one more scripture before we are going to pray for every one of us tonight. We also pray for the revival of California. Hallelujah. We pray for the revival of our church. We pray for the revival of the United yes, States. Lord. We pray for the revival of Hallelujah. every city. And this is what the, the word of the Lord said. John chapter 14 verse 6. six the Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. What does that mean? Jesus is saying that I am or his word will show you the way. His word will give you the truth. And His word is life for every one of us. And maybe you and I have not experienced that life, the life of abundance that Jesus or our King of Kings and the Lord of Lord, our Savior, our Lord, want to give you. Tonight, I would like to invite you to open your heart so that you can experience that way, that truth, and that life. And you are going to see that your life will change forever. And not only that, his precept or his statute also tell us that only you and I can go to the Father through Jesus Christ. Amen. No yeah. one else can take you to be there. So his word will continue to say to you and I that you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. free. Hallelujah. The law of God is not going to bind you. The Lord of God is not going to oppress you. The Lord of God is not going to make you uncomfortable but the lord of the god of god is that he is going to set you free and that is written in john chapter 8 verse 32 and you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free how many of you want to be free tonight hallelujah how many want to receive the truth of god the statutes of god the precept of god with gladness we would like to invite you to receive it. It's just like many of us have been received and now our life has been set free. We begin to see that our life being corrected. We begin to see that we are beginning to walk in His righteousness. We don't want to desire the way of the world or the things of the world anymore. But we begin to want to please our God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And God in every step, He is moving our life. He is directing our life. He is changing our life yes. to become a better person. May you and I, we become a better person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some will say, Zed, I'm ready to become a better person. Ready to be a better person. You can shout better than that. <laughs> ready. I'm ready to be a better person. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. I'm ready to become a better person. Now, may I invite one of the prayer warriors. Would you please just pray to respond to the word of God today, tonight? That we said that the precept or the statute of the Lord is trustworthy. We want to pray that you are going to experience that trustworthy or the ability to be rel relied on and honest. Hallelujah. That is, the word of God is honored and it is truthful and it is true. So, Prophetess Korah, would you please just pray for the people and just pray that God also open your heart so that you can begin to prepare and worship Him right now. 
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you, Lord. We just thank you, Father God, for your love, Lord, for your grace, Father God, for your healing power right now, Father God. Hallelujah. I know that there's people out there, Father God, that need your touch. They need to be saved, Father God. They need your healing, Father God. So, Father, we just ask you in the name of Jesus to heal them, to touch them, Father God, with your glory, Father God, and that they will recover, Father God, if they're sick, Lord, if they're, if they're having family issues, Father God. God, that you will bring restoration, Father, that you'll bring reconciliation, Father God, to their family members, Father God, that they shall be saved in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just thank you for tonight. We ask you to bless Pastor Joshua and all the prayer warriors out there and the audience, Father God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are here with us, and we just cover everyone by your blood, Father. Thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's pray and worship together and prepare our heart right now. And say, Lord, may your truth, may your statue, statue begin to search my life. And show me your righteous way right now. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, you search me. You know. blood was shed for me there's no greater love than this you have overcome the grave glory fills the highest place what can separate me now you go before me you shield my way, your hand upon me, I know you love me, I know you love me, at the cross I bow my where your blood was shed for me There's no greater love than this You have overcome the grave 
Glory fills the highest place. What can separate me now? You tore the veil. You make a way. When you said that it is done, you tore the veil. You made. Said that it is done. You tore the veil. You make a way. When you said that it is done, you tore the veil. You make a way. When you said. Is done, and when the earth fades, falls from my eyes, you stand before me. Cross, I bow my knee, where Your blood was shed for me. There's no greater love than this. You have overcome Your grave. Glory fills the highest place. What can separate me now? You tore the veil. You make a way. When you said that it is done, you tore the veil. You make a way. When you said. You tore the veil. You make a way when you said that it is done. You tore the veil. You make a way when you said that it is. At the cross, I bow my knee, where Your blood was shed for me. There's no greater love than this. You have overcome the grave. Glory fills the highest flame. What can separate me now? You know that the Bible said that at the cross, everything has been done. Every sins have been forgiven. Every curses have been broken in the name of Jesus. At the cross. Every headache will be removed in the name of Jesus. At the cross, your guilt is no longer being condemned anymore. At the cross, your past has been erased by the blood of Jesus. The precept and the statute of the Lord continue to teach you and I that God loves us even when we are the sinner. Why we are the sinner? Why we are still rebellious? Why we are still rejecting Him? Why we start trying to deny Him? But God loves us, and He still gives us a way to come back to Him.
Jesus. And tonight, and we are celebrating the Chinese New Year or the Tet Festival. Let us pray, may this new year and this new day we are also the day that you and I begin to turn back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. Come on, just lift our voice and begin to pray right now and say, Lord, I need, I need a great turning right now. I pray right now it is the turning point of my life. Hallelujah, every one of you continue to come to the name of Jesus. Continue to come into the presence of Jesus and say, Father, I want to keep your word. I want to obey your precept. I want to follow your statutes so that you can give me life. You can protect me from the harm. You can protect me from the deception of the enemy. Come on and begin to pray for you. Continue to pray for your family. Continue to pray for your children that they are going to love the word of God. That are going to love the statute of the Lord. That they are going to uphold the precept of the Lord Most High. Because there in the statute of the Lord, there is life, there is holiness, there is sanctification of our life. That the word and the precept of the Lord is going to bring life anew in the name of Jesus. That the word of God is going to bring the sanctification that we need in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Any prayer warrior. Thank you, Lord. Any prayer warrior, if the Lord leads you, just would you please just lead the people in prayer for a transformation, for a new beginning in the name of Jesus. A new start, a new beginning, a new start, Father God. As you set them free, Father God, by the blood, the blood all the way to the bone and the marrow of their body, Father God. They are set free, Father God, because you are the God Almighty. Chains broken. Chains are broken. Yes, Father God, the chains are broken. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Father, that you're giving them a new beginning. Yes. You're writing them a new history. Nobody yes. can do that but you, God. Thank you that they're opening their hearts, their minds, and their ears to hear that you can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. I decree it on them tonight. A new year, a new beginning in their hearts, their minds, their bodies. Joy like a river. Yes. I declare it over them right yes. now Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Heavenly Father. We come together, Lord, in unity, and we declare that peace, love, and unity is one in our heart with you for the Holy Spirit first. I decree and declare that unity comes upon every person in every household listening. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare peace. Shalom yes. forever, the agape Hallelujah. love of our God, the heavenly Hallelujah. Father, the Father of all Thank fathers, you, Lord. Yahweh, El Shaddai, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Lord. Christ, Hallelujah. continue to roll into this spirit of every person, Lord. Keep us unified in the sanctity of your love, Jesus. I pray that unity in marriage is now forever. In the Bible, it is written, we are together in your love, Lord Jesus Christ. In your word, we are together. Jesus Christ, mighty name. Thank you, Lord. As you are going to pray that whole prayer and follow that prayer, begin to shout upon the name of the Lord right now and ask God for the freedom and we are closing for the psalm and the great awakening. May your life will be change yes. and we are ready for yes. the time a push together yes. with evangelist Betty's shoe that yes. we continue to pray until something happen yes. hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah shout to the lord on the earth let us sing power and majesty praise to the king mountain bow down and the sea will run at the sound of your name i sing for joy at the works of your hand forever i love you forever i stand nothing compared to the promise you have in me. Just say one more time, shout to the Lord. Shout to the Lord on the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountain bow down and the sea will roar at the
the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the works of your hand. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compared to the promise I have. In you for the last time. Hallelujah. Shout to the Lord on the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains will bow and the sea will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compared to the promise I have. In you say nothing, nothing compared to the promise I have in you. Hallelujah. Nothing can compare to the promises that God has given to us. Receive that freedom. Receive that healing. Receive that training. Receive that correction in the name of Jesus. Receive that holiness of God. Receive that sanctification in the name of Jesus. And be ready and welcome Evangelist Betty Sue with the time of pray until something happens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you.